Welcome, Andy. And obviously, my first question, and most people watching at home, will be why? Why would you go on holiday to a war zone? I don't know. Um, I think it's a character that's evolved after sort of the sort of 20 years of travel. It didn't start out as being where it's ended up. So the answer is I don't really know. I've asked the question loads of time. It's probably a multi-layer answer. Um, because when I travel, I meet all different characters, and every time I meet somebody new, my character evolves a little bit more. So I don't really know the answer. So when you say it didn't start out like that, how did it start out? Were you on um, a normal holiday and something happened? Or um, I used to travel with my cousin, and we were kind of sitting in a pub discussing what we're going to do, where we're going to go, a bit of travel for something a bit different. So we, we were going to go to Afghanistan, but it had a, um, an earthquake, mm. so we decided not to go, so we decided to go to Uganda and do a bit of guerrilla trekking. And, but there was something a little bit naughty over the other side of Zaire, and Zaire was in a civil war, so we thought we popped over and popped back. It kind of would be a bit exciting, but when we got over there, um, we went for a And man's... this is how long ago? Were you... 20 years ago. 20 years ago. No, so were you young and, young and foolish, maybe? <laughs> I didn't that, it's 30. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> went over there, and a guy chased us out with a, a large knife um, to get out of his banana plantation, and from then onwards, I can't want to come back. I was talking about evolving of a character. I've looked for something more each time. But where, where do you... Most people would come back and say, oh, oh the my most God, the terrible worst thing I've ever had. Where does that line happen where you think, oh, God, that was a real near miss that we had, but do you know what? Rather than sit there and thank our lucky stars, let's get back let's on get a plane back. and go to Somalia. Like, I think because I'm probably um, one of the only people that does it now, there's a couple more I've, I've met out there, I think I haven't got that line. So there isn't that, that, that isn't that de defined line. So, so explain to us what it is you actually do. So you sit there and think, right, I want to go, say, Iraq or, you know, somewhere yeah. that's like a war zone area. Um, and, and how do you go, go about planning that? Because obviously it's not as easy as just booking a last minute deal online and you're there, is it? The first ones are a little bit difficult, but during a period of time, you, um, you meet sort of journalists or you meet friends out there who've been somewhere else. So you in interchange fixes and there is tourist companies that will take you to these places as well. So it's not just a case of... Some pictures of you. I mean, this is, like you said, proper frontline stuff. Where's that? Um, that's um, just outside Kirkuk. Um, the fighters you can see are, are the Abbas militia. They're a mixture of Shia, Turk and Sunni. So there's a mixture of people that don't generally so that, get on. So this is you with your back to yeah. us, taking video footage, I'm presuming, yeah. is what you're doing there. Um, so you don't fight with them at all? You're not, you're not helping them in any way? No. You're just taking footage, documenting it with pictures? Well, I mean, the day that that happened um, was kind of... Um, it wasn't supposed to happen that way, because we were looking for the front line with the Peshmerga. But we met a journalist. This is how the trips happen. You meet people along the way. So we met an Iraqi um, journalist who said that there's been a suicide attack on this front line the night before and he could get us in. So we followed him. He took us down some back roads and nothing was happening there. There was a suicide vehicle that detonated that night. And as I was videoing and talking to the guys, the gun battle started. Right, so I'm listening to all this and going, oh, how fascinating, unless I was your wife. Oh, dear. And I would be going, hang on a second. Or your child. You've got two oh children, two yeah. children from your previous yeah. marriage. There's, there's your yeah. uh, beautiful wife of your gorgeous children. And yeah. I would be saying, what the hell are you doing? You're a father of four children. Why are you putting yourself in danger? Well, that's something... See, um, Rachel, oh, nice to see her there. She's in Cyprus at the moment, so maybe I am in the doghouse still. But, um... She didn't really... She wasn't too really involved in my trips because I kind of lied to her a lot. When I come home, I'd say, yeah, no, I went, went to my... And she wasn't kind of worldly and didn't really look too much into so what I did. she didn't know what danger you were possibly No, you were but in. because the media have kind of got involved with this one and I showed her my video when I come back because I was so excited that what I'd done, the adrenaline buzz, was so high at a high level, she watched it and she so didn't speak you, to me. So are you a frustrated soldier underneath all this, That's then? been said before as well. No, not at all. I just... Um, an adventure tourist. I mean, I've been to so many other places. I mean, um, obviously this makes impact because it's in Iraq and well, it's no, topical. I, I get the I get the adventure. I'm going. Well, people say when I you know yeah. I went down the canoe down a waterfall or I went you know yeah. canoeing up the Amazon. But this is war zones. I mean, you're or went putting on the Ferris your, wheel at South yourself End. in like, danger. That's, that's, that's exciting <laughs> yeah. to most people. I couldn't go on the Ferris wheel. I suffer with the old um, <laughs> thing. I get sick on that Ferris wheel. So you're much braver than I am to do that. <laughs> But um, I don't know, it's, as I say, it's part of me, it's part of what I like, I love people. But one, um, of, one of the things that you have to worry about as well is not only where you are, the yeah. surroundings that you're in, but the people that you trust, and I yeah. say that word loosely, you sort of have to lie about where you're going to be the next day. Yeah. And, and because you're frightened, because you, you, I mean, you had an experience where 
there was people coming for you with gunfire. It you've did heard. seem that way in my last trip to Mogadishu, yeah. But that's the risk we take. But I do tr I trust my fixers because otherwise we wouldn't be able to do this. Listen, you, you obviously are a man who likes danger. We've got to cut you off there because we've got to... It's quite boring, really. We've just got the weather forecast. Yeah. It's great to talk to you. <laughs>